Okay, so the question of the day is, well, first of all, we got to state the fact that last night, James Holzauer lost on Jeopardy when he was within a few thousand dollars of Ken's record, Ken Jennings' record, literally in half the time, less than half the time. He's never made a small wager on Final Jeopardy or anything like that. So last night he wagered under $2,000 on an answer as usual that he answered easily. I think he's at like 96 or 97% accuracy for answering correctly. Well, he was. Anyways, he answered it easily. Not just the name, but the flirt first and last name, so it wasn't even a, a question as to whether he knew the answer. And he wagered only uh, like 1300 bucks, which the librarian, which she's amazing in her own right, her master's degree, how she got it, her, her studying uh, for Jeopardy, everything, she's amazing, but I'm telling you what, if James would have played on purpose, like he normally plays, he would have easily wagered the right amount that he needed to to easily win last night. So the question is not, did he throw the game for some reason that we don't know? Because I think that's a given. I mean, it's all over the news. It's all over radio. It's all over everywhere that <clears throat> most people think he threw the game. It's pretty much a foregone conclusion. But I guess the question is, why? Now, maybe he didn't throw the game, you know? I, I don't know. There is that small percentage. But I would say, I'd say the majority, you know, the, the very high majority of, of people that have been following all this and watching it, including all the news medias and everything like that, <coughs> Um, are in agreement that some somehow for some reason he threw the game because he he wasn't buzzing in he he bid low for the first time ever in a time when he never bids low he could have easily won he didn't um, yeah I, everything was off I mean for a reason so I I don't know Sammy and I last night discussed there could be three reasons this is just our opinion. First, Jeopardy paid them off because they were going broke. Don't know if it's true, but there's been rumors that the he is breaking the bank. He's breaking the show because he's costing them too much money. Second reason, he was fed up with winning. I mean, he literally just wanted to spend time with his family and, and move on to something else, a new venture. <clears throat> third, I don't even remember what the third option we came up with was it was something else but um yeah oh third option that's right um was he bet on himself because las vegas the there were huge betting pools going on um against and for him on every game he was a huge thing in the uh las vegas betting betting rings and betting circles so a lot of people think that maybe he went and placed a huge wager of millions and millions of dollars on himself to lose and then lost. <clears throat> I don't know. I don't. Uh, I don't see that as being the answer. I. I'm kind of veering towards the idea that. Uh, that I think he probably had some kind of agreement with a non-disclosure agreement and he can't say anything about it legally but I think Jeopardy and him worked something out for him to peacefully nice, nicely exit the game because when you have someone like him on, on the game Ken Jennings was good but he wasn't James I mean James was easily smoking Ken Jennings 2-1 to one. I mean it wasn't even a comparison and Ken Jennings was phenomenal. But I'm telling you, James was about to blow Ken's record out of the water in less than half the time. What would James have looked like at 76 games? 
he would have been at seven, eight, nine million dollars in winnings. He was averaging seventy-seven thousand dollars every single day, every single episode in a twenty-minute game, minus commercials. So he he broke every record. He held the highest amount ever earned on a game, a couple times. Um, he held the highest amount averaged on a daily basis. He was tracking towards breaking the all-time record of $2.5 million in 76 games, and he was going to do it in uh, 32 games. 33 games would have been last night, and he would have easily won it. So anyways, yeah, I mean, what are your, what are your thoughts? Comment below. Do you think he lost fair and square? Do you think he threw it? And if he did throw it, why did he throw it? Those are the questions of the day. See ya.